hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is pele and if you are new to this channel uh just a little bit of background i do tutorials every day on microsoft office either it include word excel powerpoint and access as well i do tutorials on video editing image editing and any software out there i also give you guys my top free software like that, that includes as i mentioned administration uh, application uh, video editing image editing or any other software out there so if you are new or if you haven't subscribed to our channel just make sure you hit that subscribe button you like our video and also hit that bell uh, notification icon so you don't miss any new video that we post and so for today's video we are going to create a micro using microsoft word so on the previous video we did create a micro by uh, with excel so today we're going to be looking at how we can create the same thing but using microsoft word so it's pretty much the same way we do it with the new version with other version you had a different option but with newer version you have a few options that you can do and it goes the same way but let's just see how we can do it the simple way so the first thing we do we do is as we did in microsoft excel just make sure this tab is already appearing here the developer tab or if it's it's not appearing what how we can add it is by going to file uh, clicking options and then going to customize ribbon and make sure when you come here it's already uh checked here so let's say it's not checked here and you don't know how to add the the developer uh the other way where you can create a micro in microsoft word is by going to view and go uh, here on micro and start uh, record micro so if i click here i can pretty much name it so let's say cx data as i like this name and here you have two options so you can assign micro to a button so you can literally create a button or you can use a shortcut keyboard so we're going to be looking into both of them so let's start with the button one so we're gonna click on the button and let's now say no more that micro uh no more that a uh, new micros that cx data so this is what our micro is so we're going to add it so now when i click ok as you can see now it adds my micro button here so let's say for example let's go back on the insert let's insert let's say three let's insert a table here let's say uh, uh job uh and name and last name so now let's have this one here uh we can leave it like this oh i don't need this so let's say john uh oh let's say uh the job uh, is a director and the person is john john is the director and his last name is smith so now this is what and I, I can customize my table so as you guys can see here if i select everything i can customize it and if i click this button here even i can do this so now i have my micro uh created so now if i go back to view go to micro and then click stop recording when i stop recording then my micro is already created so now if i let's say i just go down here and then i click run micro you see it adds my micro automatically so this is will be helpful and i can do this with a different uh, so let's create a new tab and then if i click this button here bam now i have my micro created so it's that easy so that's how you have it so you can always have this button uh, up here so whenever you want to get this table to automatically appear i uh, made a mistake here and automatically appear all, all i have to do is just click this button here so now let's look at how we can create the same thing but instead of having this icon on the top here we're going to uh, do it with a keyboard shortcut so how we can do it is go back to view go here to micro and let's say start recording again so in this we're gonna do cx data 2 uh, 2 so now instead of choosing button we're gonna choose keyboard 
so we're gonna click keyboard here so now press new shortcut key so let's say i want a t uh control alt shift t so now every time i want to run this micro i want to to get this micro on my wall if i just pre my select uh, click alt plus control plus shift plus t it's going to populate the micro here so let's just put assigned and then click close so now we we are recording our micro we're gonna create the same thing we're gonna go back and then let's create another table uh let's name it uh let's say for example uh product for example uh in stock for example uh, out of stock just an example and i can do the same thing as well i can modify it the way i want i can add uh, the shades so if you guys want uh to know how to modify your tables and so on have a tutorial that's already on uh youtube i'll leave the link down below you guys can check that how you can customize your table so you can make it look pretty or whatever that you want so for this tutorial i'm just gonna put a let's say blue and i'm gonna have it like this so now if i go back to view and let's just click micro stop recording now let's create another uh, file and now when i go here if i click uh, alt control shift t see it adds my micro here and it's the same thing if i do this so so oops what did i do sorry let's just erase this so let's add it with a button but you're gonna notice something when i do the keyboard it adds the the second table that i created but when i click this icon here it adds the first uh table the reason why because on our first micro that we created we said put it with a button so that's why this table is appearing here so every time i do this and how i can edit this there my micro so let's say i want uh I want my micro this one to be appearing when i do the keyboard shortcut and then this one to be appearing when i do the uh the, the button here so what i can do is i can go back to view uh click here view my micros so it's going to show me all my micros here here so what i can do is i can let's say i select the first one edit and uh here as you guys can see now this is how it was programmed pretty much this is the the coding if i can say so i'm not great with coding so i'm not sure on a lot of things how to uh to read the uh, the, the coding but this is how you can pretty much edit your uh your micro that you created so guys Thank you very much for watching i hope this video was really uh, helpful i will try to make i will create another tutorial with more advanced on how to create a micro and more uh things that you can add on your your micro or more options that you can have and how you can even add a, uh, more like a background and so on so i hope this video was form uh, formative to you so thank you very much for watching just don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell button on the top so you don't miss any of our new video thank you very much pele and god bless bye bye